This is a question about air conditioning. We're running an air conditioner, and an air conditioner, like a refrigerator, is basically a heat pump. By the way, and let's go ahead and prepare to solve this problem, let's say. Okay, so our preparation is going to start with this. An air conditioner is basically a heat pump, and what a heat pump does is this. I have to put in work, okay? I've got to put it in work, and the reason I put it in work is I'm going to pull heat out of a cold reservoir, and I'm going to dump the heat into a hot reservoir. It just takes heat and moves it from a place that's cooler to a place that's hotter. So inside the air-conditioned lecture hall into the great outdoors. And it takes work to make that happen. Now we're told the air conditioner has a coefficient of performance of five, okay? The coefficient of performance is basically an efficiency. And efficiency in general is what you get divided by what you had to pay. That's generally true. Well, what you get in this case is QC. You get the cooling. What you had to pay is the work that it takes to run the air conditioner. Okay, That's the electric power that we're going to be computing here. Well, I can rearrange those and have it look like this. Okay, The work that it takes to run the air conditioner is equal to QC divided by the coefficient of performance. Okay, That's going to be useful for us later. Now here's the question. Okay, why do I have to pump heat out at all? Why do I have this heat? Well, the reason is, is because it's being dumped into there by a whole bunch of students who are sitting and listening to a physics lecture. How much heat are they dumping in? Well, I have 250 students, okay? Each one of them deposits 125 watts of metabolic power into the room. Basically, because if you're using 125 watts of metabolic power, all of that turns into thermal energy, and it's just put into the room, and so it's got to be taken out unless you want the room to warm up. That's 125 watts, which is 125 joules per second. So what that's telling me is this. The students are responsible for putting 31,250 joules per second into the room. So in one second, the students deposit 31,250 joules in the room, and this is the heat that forms the QC. That's the heat that has to be moved out into the great outdoors, and so it's going to cost us energy to make this happen. And with that preparation in place, we're ready to move on to a solution, okay? Now, in one second, the students are dumping this much heat into the room. That's the heat that we have to get rid of, so that's QC. So QC is 31,250 joules, and we know that the work that has to be done to exhaust that is QC divided by the co coefficient of performance. So I bring that relationship over here, but I'm going to put in numbers. QC is 31,250 joules. The coefficient of performance is 5.0. And so the work that has to be done in one second to exhaust this amount of heat is 6,250 joules. Now that's the amount that has to happen in, to pump this heat. In one, or that's how much heat is being deposited in one second. And so the air conditioner requires this much electric energy every second. And so therefore, the power that the air conditioner requires is 6,250 watts, or rounding it off to two significant figures and putting this in more convenient units, that's about 6.3 kilowatts. So that's how much electric power it takes. Now let's assess our results, okay? I've looked in the back room in my lecture hall, and, and the air conditioner, mostly what it's doing is it's getting rid of the heat that the students deposit in the air of the lecture hall to keep it from warming up. And they're pretty beefy motors to make this happen. And so this number seems reasonable to me, 6.3 kilowatts. That's the amount that's about like 15 big screen televisions. And so I expect this, um, this is a pretty big number, but my understanding of the way the air conditioning system in my lecture hall works, and I have about this many students in my class, is it's a big motor that runs the air conditioner. So our final analysis is this. Our answer reflects our understanding of the way the world works.